welcome to your decoding of the ET Wealth newspaper. New year 2023 has begun. Many of us may have started it with a lot of resolutions. Today we are talking about some simple financial resolutions you could make and follow for 2023. This new year let's make sure we are on track. Um, we don't break resolutions. Well we really do them. Right? We really break them. Um, so in this article that I am decoding today on page number 13, Uma Shashikant who is the chairperson of Center for Investment Education and Learning, she is saying how resolutions are broken each year. Right? Like one of the common things is like gyms. She is saying gyms around her locality offer discounts and this happens around my locality too. And offer discounts on the annual fee. People's resolution is to really, you know, get fit, get healthy in the new year. But only a small percentage of people actually stick to their resolutions. And this is being said by researchers that only a few people will stick to their resolutions. Many people are overconfident, they will shoot higher than they can reach, they do not follow up, do not review, they set unrealistic goals. So now, you know, now that we've begun on this, how about you sharing what are those financial resolutions that you've created for yourself in this new year? What is it that you committed to? Please start typing. Hi Suma, Avneet. Hey Nidhi. Veena, welcome everyone. Hey Sheetal. So guys, financial resolutions for 2023. While you guys are typing your resolutions, let me share some of the resolutions Uma has put in here. She's saying invest. Invest all the surplus that you have. Record, you know, record each asset. Okay, each asset into an Excel file. Identify bank accounts that you no longer need. Resolve and only gift people cash. Postpone spending decisions. Make one donation every year. Pause before you clear the home trash. Identify one money habit that you hold as a secret. Make a budget this year. Break one annoying money habit. So these are some of the ideas from Uma's article. What are your financial resolutions this new year? Suma is saying invest knowledgeably in stocks. Okay. Invest in NPS. Invest in sovereign gold bonds. Hey Payal, welcome. Hi Ananya. Okay, what else? Think before buying anything. Save and then spend. Got it Kalai. Neeti, planning is difficult. Okay, so are you taking that on as a resolution? 10 days into the new year. What is it that you we are looking at? Like I am clear, you know, I'll, I'll tell you. I, I don't, I wouldn't say these are my resolutions. I, I don't think I create resolutions. I rather create systems, discipline and I just follow it. So I'm going to share. <laughs> Sheetal is saying, Neeti, you got to connect with Sheetal. <laughs> yes, you're trusting money, Jim. Got it. Okay, Mahi, you're saying start compounding. Think before buying. Follow no buy month. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. In our um, team, Sheetal runs these no, no spending months. And yeah, whenever she starts the challenge, Mahi, make sure you join in. 
so you know i i was just creating with you guys that i i don't create resolutions really i you know what i focus on is habit building i focus on uh, scheduling myself very well so like scheduling is a very very big habit that i have and it has served me really well like for now 17 years for at least 17 years you know in my calendar the habit is every month end i will review my progress on my finances and then every year end i review i review how i've done with my finances you know how much did i keep because what i keep is what i earn nothing else okay all the spending i have which has drastically increased after my marriage um so yeah so you know the point i'm trying to make here is the habits that i've built like recording money in money out like the moment i spend money i have an excel file on google drive and i go to it and record it there and then like i don't leave it even for that one second like people who are with me ongoingly they know that i'm going to do it right away then you know like really reviewing my spending what i'm keeping at the end of the month looking at my investments investing month on month no matter what i have not waited for the ups and downs to really uh, judge when i should be investing there's a definite date and i just invest on that date and and i think this way of planning and being disciplined has really supported me um i i really you know work for my soul more than working for money i mean this this work women on wealth gives me a lot of power it gives me a lot of direction and so you know i i stick around i work on the mission and we're committed that we will create 50 lakh women financially educated women in india by 2030 so you know coming back what what other disciplines can i see you know like i i would really look at um how many clothes do i want like like easily i could have purchased something you know lodi uh, you know punjabi festival is just around the corner it's on friday and uh, you know my mother offered to gift and she said why don't you buy clothes she offered to my husband as well my husband bought and i was like no i don't need more clothes so even if my mother is buying me clothes i don't need more i'm clear i have enough for now so you know like these habits i'm i'm noticing you know there are a lot of habits that i have and they serve me year on year and you know i don't need to resolve anything because i've built these habits built these structures that i follow there there's you know it's all in my calendar and i just keep following it keep typing guys what are you getting ananya is saying simply follow the structured plan that i made yes yes so once you build the system it just simply becomes following the plan and implementing the plan and just just repeating it just repeating all that we need to until it comes to an auto mode for us yeah as simple as that Vina is saying no by month. What a great idea! Yes, yes, absolutely. Our team member, core team member, Sheetal keeps coming up with these ideas, right? Yeah, Niti, you're wowed by it. I'm glad. So, guys, please start typing. What are you getting? You know, one of the biggest takeaways I would love each one of you to take is instead of focusing on building resolutions and then following them. can we focus on building systems for life right can we build systems for life and then yeah just follow the systems right? build in that discipline to follow the systems on a daily basis monthly basis yearly basis that's the key so my saying discipline and consistency yes 
arpita knowing your enough that is powerful yeah like really knowing how much is enough it gives it gives a lot of power i'm i'm not saying be a minimalist like like i love wearing you know these kind of things and um, i i may have really i think i may have some 20 30 of them i don't even know the count so i'm not a minimalist really but yes you know i know what i love i know what i want to wear i know how i want to look and uh, yeah i i manage i manage like that spending so much to buy new clothes okay niti by now that's what you keep doing niti kaveri you joined late sure consistency is what you are hearing got it prabha is saying finance management seems simple if we follow this system it is simple it is not easy because it requires habit building it requires you to do like things every day but if you build the habits it serves you in every area like you know i want to say this i'm very very passionate about working on my health and fitness uh not so much about exercising but so much about eating right like eating well and eating right and i always work from an eating window like some days i will have a 4 hour eating window so you know i will stop eating within these 4 hours or some days i will have a 6 hour eating window some days i'm eating like crazy okay we all have our days but um most days i'm disciplined so you know once you build discipline in your area of finance and you know what are the actions you need to take um and systems will get built discipline will get built you will also notice that the same habits will help you in other areas because now you recognize yourself as someone who is disciplined you recognize yourself as someone who does it who achieves it when she gets down to it so i think that identity building is also critical so it's not just taking actions taking actions consistently taking actions until you achieve something where you acknowledge your own self and you recognize your own self as a creator of your life as somebody who designs her life than living it on default like that hi diksha kalai you are saying track and revisit the expenses i need to know needs and wants <laughs> aniti saying i want to be conjuice your words always motivate sure lara clothes are your weakness got it got it so thank you so much for joining i trust you created value for yourself do keep sharing do keep um, bringing yourself in bringing your people in to grow financially and otherwise take charge stay safe loads of love sending abundance of prosperity in this new year to each one of you love you